How's everyone doing? It's Alex here. I just got home and I just remembered it was my turn to make a video today. So I rushed to my room and um, here I am. And I really didn't get too much time to plan this or even prepare this out in the slightest bit away. So we're doing this all on freestyle here. So here we go. This is um, what would you do week. And... Each person had to ask what would you do question, and we're going to go through the questions in a little bit. Just want to say thanks everybody for watching. Like Adam said, um, he actually took my idea. I was going to say that in the next video, so blah. Um, so here we go. We're going to start answering the questions. All right, so Adam asked, what would you do if you ever had a random crush on a girl? Now, I've dated girls in the past. And it never, never even came close to fulfilling of dating a guy. Now, of course, if I guess it's, it may be possible, but I'm gay, so I don't know. This is a hard one. Uh, <laughs> I've never actually had a crush on a girl. Um, well, scratch that. I have, actually. And it, it no. <laughs> it was more of a... a I'm not going to talk about this because it's not the kind of video it is. I wouldn't follow up on it. Um, that's all I have to say. I would not follow up on it because people know me as gay. And it would make me look like I could change my sexuality. And I really don't want to put that out there because it's, it isn't possible to change my sexuality. I've tried before. It's not possible. So next. So Grant asks, what would you do if someone asked for the answers on a test and the teacher wasn't looking? Um, I, around my friends, not on YouTube because I try to give a professional look on YouTube, around my friends I do tend to act a little dumb on purpose because it's funny. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, act funny, but I do, I, I tend to goof off a lot. So people tend to see me as a not very smart person. So people just don't ask me for the answers on tests, thinking I'm gonna make an F. Even though I usually I don't make Fs that often. I, you know I'm pretty smart when I'm trying to be at least. Um, so if I probably wouldn't give it to them. I mean to be honest, I it'd be more about their safety than mine. Like I wouldn't give them the answer because it's probably wrong. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, so my question was, was, what would you do if your boyfriend slash girlfriend, whatever, wanted to have a sexual relationship with you, but you were not ready? Now, of course, I've had this problem before in the past, because people know I try not to do sexual, not sexual, I try not to have sex, in period, like, sex. Because anything else, I mean, I really don't care about, but sex in general is like saying, here I am, I'm giving it all to you, had it. But anything like or just lower than sex, um, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably go through with it just for the fact that it's in a relationship you do have to, you know, both people have to give up something in a relationship. But if it was sex, I would completely know. Like, I wouldn't feel the slightest bit sad about saying no. Um, I'd be very blunt about it. I wouldn't hit around the bush or anything. It's just straight no. I'm not going to have sex until I'm ready, and they're not going to have sex with me until I'm ready. And that was the same thing I just said twice, but I don't care. I mean, they can either deal with it or get the fuck out, because I don't care. If you're going to not want to be in a relationship with me because I don't want sex, don't even try. So, I'm in the middle of eating here, and if you ever see food in my face in a video, it's because I am enjoying my food. Just saying. Um, so, next. So Eric's question was, and this is a little, you have to read this one from the paper. What would you do if the guy you fell madly in love with told you he had HIV right before y'all were take y'all? Wow, what do you mean? We're about to take it to the next level. You haven't had sex with him yet. In quotation. Um, that's that's a hard one. I don't I don't want to sound harsh, and say I probably wouldn't do it, but I guess if I was in love with him and. I knew there was no possible chance in hell we were ever going to break up, that I was going to be with this guy forever, and I was never going to have sex with anyone else, 
or never be in a relationship with anyone else besides for this person, then yeah, I would go through with it without a doubt. But of course, if it was even the slightest bit chance that we weren't going to make it, no. Because, I mean, even though we have to give up something in a relationship, that's a pretty big one you have to give up, and you want to be sure you're giving it up for the right person. So... And the last question, Brad asks, what would you do if the government made it illegal to be gay? <laughs> like you're going to be arrested with a long sentence of life, j long sentence of jail time if anybody finds out you like guys. Now, I probably would just stay in the closet, of course. But, you know, I wouldn't be very happy life. If anything, I would have to say I would live a life of being single. Like, just no one would know. I'd live my life single. I would just tell everyone I don't want to date a girl. I don't want a relationship. I don't want kids. I don't want anything. I want to be alone for the rest of my life. And that that probably be best because I'd rather be alone than be with a girl. Like, no offense. I love girls to death. Not in that kind of way. I just love girls, you know. I love them as friends. But I cannot be with one. I would live alone before I lived with a girl. And it's that simple. I mean... It would really suck to live like that, but nowadays people live like that now, and it's not even illegal, they just fear, you know. And I was like that, and I know how it feels, and it sucks, but I'd rather not go to jail. But to be honest, I was thinking about it, and if all the gay people went to jail, I might want to go to jail, to be honest. I mean, think about it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd rather live in a big gay community in jail than a big straight community out of jail. I mean, so, maybe I, I could live in jail with the gay people. Hmm, that, that's interesting. So, yeah, I might choose to be in jail. Fuck living single. We're going to jail. Hell yeah. That'll be a great story to tell my mom. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so, yeah. Alright, guys, so thanks for watching this video. Go check out everybody else's videos this week so far, and check out Eric. He's tomorrow. Well, you have to check him out tomorrow when he makes his video tomorrow. But um, go check out everybody. Uh, my main channel is going to be in the description for you guys want to watch it. Subscribe to the collab channel because we're not going anywhere soon. We're going to be around for a long, 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 long time. So, um, yeah, so peace out, guys, and have a great day.